Hi, my name is Ahidi Ame Michael Agbole. Uh, I was a recipient of the IEC scholarship in 2010. I went to school at McMaster University where I uh, majored in economics, then went on to pursue my MBA a few years after, also at McMaster University. That educational background set me up for my current career today. Um, I'm an investment banker at one of the financial institutions here in Canada. When applying for the IEC scholarship, the process for me was to submit my transcript, an essay highlighted in why I was deserving of the scholarship, and finally, you know, a summary of my volunteer experience. And with that mentioned, I'd like to sort of maybe harp on why I think it's so important to volunteer. First and foremost, you know, as Christians, I think we're called to serve. So I think it's important for us to share our God-given gifts and talents with uh, communities and people who are in need of these uh, talents. Secondly, I do think that it helps you grow as an individual. And finally, I think just getting into the habits of doing things without uh, the expectation of receiving anything back in return is uh, an important skill set to continue to develop as we all um, grow and proceed with life. Um, when applying to a scholarship, I think it's important to know that I think the committee looks beyond just academics. So to, to the extent that you're able to try to show forth that you are well-rounded, highlight some of the things that you do for fun, the ways in which you impact the community outside of the classroom. Um, in terms of the scholarship and what it meant for me specifically, um, and sort of how it helped me achieve my educational goal, the scholarship, I think, gave me a good, strong start. Uh, philosophically speaking, I think it's important in every facet of life to get a, get off to a strong start because I think you are disadvantaged if you have uh, otherwise slower start versus other people. For me, I used the proceeds of the scholarship to purchase my uh, first year textbooks, which allowed me then to sort of focus on the reason for which I came to Hamilton, which was to sort of focus on my academics and uh, focus on, you know, improving my craft. So one piece of advice I think I'd like to give, you know, applicants for the IEC scholarship is for you to try as best as possible to be true to yourself. And what I mean by this is that each and every one of us has a skill set or something that is unique to us that cannot be replicated in other people. Or said differently, like no one is better at being you than you. So to the extent that you're able to show forth some of those things that make you very unique, I think it will put you in the best light when applying for the scholarship. Um, you know, over the years, as well as when I was applying for the scholarship, one Bible scripture that sort of has resonated with me and continues to resonate with me today, and I imagine will, con uh, will continue in the future, is 1 Corinthians um, 3 verse 6. It reads, I planted, Apollos watered, but God made it grow. And for me, that's my favorite Bible scripture because I think it applies with almost everything in life. I think it's important when we think about our goals that in order for us to get anything, we need to work. And that's the first half of that scripture, which is planted. But the more important part of that scripture for me is that God made it grow. And resonates with me is because nothing is possible without God and that's what that sort of highlights for me so it's I think it's, it's twofold it's important that we all do the work to get whatever goals that we are striving for but also never to lose sight of the fact that without God no real progress or results is possible so with that being said I'd like to say good luck to all the applicants I am praying for you and I believe that each and every one of you can do it until then, God bless and I'll take care.